It's fucking cheat time, baby! Never realized how much I enjoyed warm liquid shooting up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> because I used to be black. And then I owed it for a truck and I turned into a piece of Polish Jew. <laughs> and my penis got smaller. <laughs> Anybody dabble with some cocaine before? <laughs> this is me for Richie. You can tell me. You can tell me. It's okay. It's okay for all the belts here. Anybody done up cocaine to the point where they shit their pants? I have. Not kidding. Always crack open before you get the pod. The pod, pod, party, pod started, pod, whatever the fuck. Nice. Where, where's your drink at? It's over there. Right, right? over there. Yeah, you, you, you can't, you can't, you can't uh, start a pod with that. Fucking countdown. Cheers, brother. Cheers, man. Holy shit. We got Henry Pounders yes, in the building. What's up, man? I'm in the building. What's up? What's going on? It's been a long time since I've seen you, man. And, yeah, uh, man. Yeah, fucking, I think it was, I think last time I saw you was uh, the before Snappers uh, st- st- uh, stopped doing the mics. Yeah, uh, back well like sucked. May. Yeah, they they took a little break, obviously because you know. Yeah, but now they back. So they got they got to make money. They got to make their money, you know. But it, it fucking happens, man. So fucking what's what's going on? Yeah, you see, it seems like you've been picking up a lot of you know new cool shit lately. Fucking <clears throat> yeah, man. I'm just trying to stay busy. You know, um, yeah. just cause my goal for next year is to actually uh, uh, travel the road a little bit more. There you go. Because uh, I was traveling at one time, but I had other obligations, so I had to had to get off the road. You've been you've been doing comedy for quite a while, right? Yeah, I've been yeah. doing it for a while. I still suck at it, though. Shut the I fuck st- up! <laughs> you don't it. suck at it. I still I, eat shit like everybody else. Hey, dude. I mean, <laughs> hey, I'm still I'm a I'm I would consider myself still kind of a rookie at this as well, too. You know, well, I, how long how long you been at it now? Oh, stand well. First time I ever attempted stand up. Well, it wasn't stand up per se. It people called stand up. It was a eulogy at a funeral, and uh, killing but, them dead. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> Got to wake the dead, you know. But no, I've been I've been going at it for about a year now. A little, just a little, about just about a year. Okay, yeah. so you got so you got like a year in. Mm-hmm. And how how do you how do you like it so far? Hey man, you know. I've had my ups, I had my downs, you know, I had like times where I had, you know, amazing nights, you know, doing like, yeah, doing a mic or a, a feature set here and there. Then I have my moments where I'm like, I want to quit. Oh, I've I had, hate a, this. I've I had a lot wanna, of those moments. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, hey man, it comes and goes. I feel like that's just part of the game, you know? Yeah, I've had a lot of nights where I just wanted to drive off a bridge. Oh, really? Yeah. How, how did you, did you do it? No, obviously no. Obviously, <laughs> but I mean, hey, I mean, I've people had, probably yeah. people have probably done it before. Lived. I've had a lot of bad sets, like yeah. ten ten years plus. I know, I know a lot of younger comics that's that's got less than ten years in. They they talk about bombing on stage, and they and and that hurts their feelings, right? And I and I get it, like bombing hurts. Oh yeah. But uh, I've actually uh, quit comedy for a while. Really? Uh, yeah. When when did you do that? Uh, I quit comedy <clears throat> twice. I quit I quit comedy for three years, and then I quit comedy for five years. Gee, so but when did you start comedy? I started uh, comedy early two thousands. So well, like two thousand four, two thousand two thousand, yeah, some two thousand four. Damn, five. Fuck, I, you said I was like twelve when when you were. When you started, man. Yeah, but you know, I I've had I had a I had family obligations, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So I was uh I was married for fifteen, so <clears throat> I couldn't really do anything. Fifteen years. Yep. How old are you, Henry? We'll discuss that off. Uh, <laughs> discuss that <laughs> off air. You know, because I mean, I'm just saying, you look fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For well, your yeah, age, we'll but I, I'm I'm very air. curious. So it, you know what? 
subscribe to Henry Pounder's <laughs> uh, YouTube channel, and he'll and he'll tell us how old. He is. Yeah, I like to keep it a mystery, you know. <laughs> no, I mean, you know it's funny because there's a lot of comics I know in this area that have been doing it for a while that look yeah. pretty good for their age, and when they tell me how old they're, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I, and personally, I think the humor in the comedy makes them young. Yeah, you know, I, absolutely. Because I mean, there's people that you know. It's less stress in your life, you know. Oh yeah, I mean, it's like what Joey Diaz says. You know, I mean, he says the real reason why comics want to be comics is that so they can never grow up. And I, and you know, I, that is very true. That's very fucking true, man. Like, you know, that's why that's why I don't celebrate my birthdays. Really? I don't celebrate my birthdays. Why? Because you, you lost count. Well, <laughs> one, yeah, one, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> And two is like is is kind of irrelevant because I think time is uh, time is an illusion. Yeah. You know, and uh, I don't <clears throat> I don't. And a lot of times I don't even feel my age. I just. That's cool. Yeah, you I know. just kind of. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I feel like you know I'm about to be thirty, and I f- and I sometimes I feel like I'm like eighty at, at times. You know, it's a, you know with the grind and the work yeah, it's, and the, it's you know, a mind you, thing. Yeah, it's, it's just a mindset yeah. thing, really. You know, I mean, and uh, and there's people that are I would say over the age of fifty that still have the mindset where they're like in their early twenties, and that's fucking rad. You know. Yeah. I mean, as long as they're responsible and not you know being yeah. being assholes about it, you know. They're also uh, also I, I I hang out with a lot of young people mm-hmm. because I, I'm still. At, I feel like I'm still learning in life. Like, yeah. you get somebody my age, they think they know everything. Like, oh, I know everything. I know you young, young. It's like, no, it's, it's like, a but different do they know generation, though, you know? different world. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, different I, world out there. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. But I mean, I feel like there's people that think they know everything. But do they? Do, do they know everything? No. I mean, exactly. I mean, well, because I don't know. because they got that age, they they want to feel like they know everything. But yeah. really, you don't you yeah. don't know shit, man. Nobody knows anything. I don't know anything. No, exactly. I mean, like, you have these people that say, like, oh, you know, I'm fucking real. I know this. I know that. But burped a little bit. But how much do you really know, you know? I mean, like, I don't know. You, you'll get those people that's like, oh, they, they've been fucked over multiple times in their lives. And I'm like, dude, we've all been fucked over multiple times. So are you, times. are you a religious person? I wouldn't say I'm or religious. I'm, I'm more spiritual. Spiritual? You know, I, 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 I grew up Catholic. I was uh, raised Catholic. I mean... I believe in a higher power, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not against anyone's religion at all. You know, right, as, right. as long as your religion doesn't hurt and hurt anybody. Right. Exactly. Do what you want, man. Are Are you? No, at all? I. Um, I no, I'm not religious at all. I I've studied the Bible for like three years. Yeah. Excuse me, but um, <laughs> I I found that I'm just as fucked up as everybody else. You know. <sighs> yeah, man. I mean. I fucked up like everybody. I think I think the Bible fucked me up a little bit more. Oh yeah, I mean it's just like oh, I have to follow this rule, it's too many or, rules, or I'm or I'm gonna go to hell and burn for all eternity. It's just like if that's how if that's how life is, fuck that, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and I just wanted to go to church to get some pussy. That's it. <laughs> well, I, that, I was there to pray. P R E Y. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's funny because my grandfather, even though I only knew him until it's like five, but. Um, my mom always said that my grandfather always said to her, if you want to meet, you know, your soul might go to church. So I guess he's got a point. If you want to go get some pussy, go, go to church. Listen, man, some, I'm, I've had some, some, uh, some girls that, that fucked on, in, in church and they fuck and like everybody fuck, else. Fuck in a church? You fucked them in church? I didn't fuck them in church, but <laughs> I wanted to though. <laughs> but, you know, hey, how, how, how do you get some of those, uh. Those pastors, I, I've heard stories about some of the pastors having outside, you know, uh, babies. Uh, as what, having sex with, like, kids or something? Well, no, but with other, <laughs> but the members there. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. I, I mean, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go to church, so I could be a pastor and fuck the rest of them girls there, but. I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing if you're fucking some chick and all of a sudden, like, they're shouting, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, I mean, yeah. like, they'll just think you guys are praying and, you know, yeah. pe- and then the nuns will be like, oh, bless that our heart's there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, man. Um, I don't know, like religion. Like I had a really good friend of mine years ago who, um, he like he was kind of raised sort of religious, whatever here and there. But then he discovered, you know, I think he discovered God more when he, I think after high school, <laughs> met some people. Um, that were I think like Jehovah's Witnesses or something like that. Yeah, and then that scared. <laughs> the fuck out of him 
Like, he stopped being fucking rad. He was, you know, always, you know, going to church, always judging us, you know. And I'm like, bro, yeah. like, because, like, we'll be talking about, like, getting some pussy here and there or going out and getting fucking, like, doing drugs. And you know, we're, we're fucking under 20 at this time. And he would be like, you know, like, that's not good. You know, God doesn't like that. I'm like, motherfucker, you literally, like, like two months ago just got done eating some girl's ass. And I watched you, bro. <laughs> like, like, shut the fuck up, man. Don't you dare be judging me for. Yeah, church people are freaky, too, man. They, oh, yeah. They get out. They, oh, fuck. They do all that shit, man. Oh, I absolutely. Know. I fuck some girls in church. Oh, shit. That's Dude, they're know, fucking, you know? they, they are naughty, 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 man. But anyway, so fast forward, you know, I did I tell you I published a book? No. Yeah, I, pu- I published a book a long time ago. It's a science fiction novel about an operation to clone Jesus Christ. And really? It's, yeah, it's not like, it's you not. Said, wait, 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 you said clone Jesus Christ? Clone Jesus Christ, yeah, the fucking, you know, the guy in the Bible. <laughs> Clone. Well, that's interesting. Go yeah, ahead. I'll, Go I'll, on. I'll, I'll talk about that. In a, I'll, I'll talk <laughs> about that. Whatever. Yeah, it's a, it's a it's a pretty good story, I think. Um, so, first off, he never read it, and he quickly judged, saying like, "Oh, how dare you for writing a book about Jesus and and disrespecting his name?" And I'm like, uh, first things first, man." I did not. This, this is nothing. To do, this is nothing but nothing. Not disrespecting, you know, Jesus at all. This is just a made-up story that I, you know, just fucking thought of one day when I was working. And I'm like, I, I was because I worked at a um, a golf shop at the time, and I was on the computer a lot, and I I wasn't right. very busy. And my boss was like, I don't know, look busy, write write a book or something. I'm like, you know what? Fuck you, you you bitch. I'm gonna go write a book right now. So I wrote a, a book, like a template of a book, and uh, so. So yeah, he he quickly judged uh, that thing in his sacrilege and stuff, and I and I'm like, bro, like you haven't read it, like if you read yeah. it, you'd understand. It's not it's not against Jesus at all. It's actually kind of pro a little bit, but in a more scientific way, you know. It's just like, and he's like, oh well, I'm like, if I ever get my hands in, I'm gonna burn it. I'm like, that's fucking <laughs> like like seven hundred dollars I fucking right. you know spent to try to get this thing fucking published and this and that. So he dropped me as a friend, and uh, wow. and during that and, and during the time before that fucker attempted suicide like three times and i talked him out of it several times and i'm like dude hate to sound dark but if you th- think about killing yourself don't call me he's Damn. alive he's alive still just 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 letting you know um well, but failed I, 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 hey man I hate, to, I hate to sound dark but i'm just like bro like yeah three times i mean like how how, yeah, how, how big of a pussy you have to be how big of a pussy you have to be in order to fucking <laughs> fail at committing suicide i mean yeah. i mean normally like I mean, I don't know. Normally, if you commit suicide, you're you're kind of a gangster, you know. It's just like yeah. shit. That 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 takes some balls. It, it, right there. I mean, I don't recommend anyone killing themselves. I mean, I'm just I'm just saying. It, it takes a lot to hang yourself. Oh God. Because you gotta get you gotta bite a rope, you gotta measure the shit. I can't do it. I'd fucking break right and through. And then the you gotta fucking... yeah. Then then you gotta actually do it. That's a, you gotta go to Home Depot to get the rope. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Get, go to some fucking white guy's house yeah. in, in, in the in the. Uh, in the fucking uh, the country and asking to make you a noose and shit, you know? He's yeah. like, well, I got this noose for you, man. I'm like, why you need it, son? It's like, oh, can't tell you. Oh, well, God bless you, you know? Yeah, I mean, people who hang themselves, that's a lot of work. I mean, if you, if you think about it, you got to go to Home Depot, you got to get a rope, you got to tie the rope, yeah. you got to learn how to tie the knot. That, that reminds you of the... Fuck, you got to YouTube that, that shit. <laughs> how, do you, how do you tie this shit? That reminds you, gotta you of learn, the... Uh, you got to learn it to, to, to tie it. That reminds you of George Carlin's bit where... He, you remember one of his bit where he talked about uh, committing suicide? It was, one of, it was one of his last specials he oh, did yeah? before he died. He said... He said... like so He's like, oh, did you know that when people commit suicide, it's every 30 seconds... There goes another. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, he, and, that, and yeah. he's just like he's like I don't know if I ever commit suicide I'd probably hang myself you know I I think I think shooting yourself in the head he's like if you fucking live and you shoot yourself in the head you got a hole in your head you're fucked you oh, know yeah but how many people live through uh, 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 shooting themselves in the head I've seen videos really? of fucking yeah like fucking there's people they get like face transplants after they shoot themselves in the fucking yeah, head. I will shoot myself again you shot I will shoot myself again you shot yourself. No, I, I oh. but I'm just saying oh. I was, <laughs> I was just I'm like, saying I was, <laughs> if I had, a, if I survive a sh- uh, the first shot and there's a hole in my head, yeah, I would I, shoot myself Yeah, again. if I did that and I ended up, and I ended up looking like a big fucking crater, like if I, if I look like a big like butthole on my face, I, yeah, I, 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 I just, shoot, I shoot myself just, again. There's no yeah. way you're going to, you're going to fucking I mean, normal. I mean, you could say it's like, oh, you know, that's faith. God's giving you a second chance. But like, but, but I have to look like this, you know? Yeah, I have to look like a one gigantic walk-in vagina, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got a fucking mm, mm, pussy hole in your face. Now, now you gotta shoot yourself with a with a with a shotgun. 
You got to do it the right way. Or at least you, have you a get, friend. You got, you got to Cobain it, you know? Do you think Kurt Cobain killed himself? This is going dark, by the way. I, <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about suicide. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be a comedy podcast, yeah. and we're talking about if if, if Kurt Cobain yeah. killed himself, or or how how we would kill our kill ourselves. We'll just transition to bombing. I mean, bombing. And I know they say comics are dark, but yeah. I mean, I I'm, I don't plan on killing myself. Henry, Have you, no, don't, I'm don't, definitely don't, not. Don't don't do it. I'm just. Kidding. I kill myself only when I'm on stage. When I bomb, then that's that's like dying. Well, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the joke that you make. I'm not gonna yeah. say the joke, but he always uh yeah yeah it's a bit that you. Uh, that's dying. That. I mean, uh, you. So how 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 often do you do you get on stage and bomb? How 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 many times have you bombed already? Uh, good question. I don't know, man. Like I've. Just, I mean, because like I said, like I've mostly done mics instead of feature sets because right. it's. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to get my get my name out there, especially in this in the Tampa Bay scene and whatnot. Ooh. I mean, I really can't give you a number how many times I've bombed, but I, I can definitely tell you it's, you know, more than I think I've, like, you know, slated in a night before. Because you got to remember, yeah. most of the places I'm doing it are either at breweries, bars, or... Um, it's going to happen, or, or, yeah. yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. You know, if anyone here is a, you know, up-and-coming stand-up comedian that's listening to me and Henry, <laughs> take our words for it, you're going to bomb. And it's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, you know? It, it makes Absolutely. it stronger, you know. I mean, you want to, like like what we just said, you want to kill yourself, but don't do it. It's not worth it. I used to I used to have a, a calendar, right? Yeah, I have a little uh, calendar, a little book calendar. Mm-hmm. And for a year, I I kind of documented on how many times I bombed. Ooh. And uh, yeah, I lost count after like a thousand <laughs> for that year, just for that one year. Hey man, you know the greats bomb still sometimes man i mean like it happens like i've heard stories of fucking carlin bombing you know even like way after his prime like he he would just work on new material at like the comedy store or wherever and if it didn't work for some for people he wouldn't fucking he'd be like 60 six years old and bombing still it happens man so who's your favorite you got a top five who's your top five oh man uh probably (laughs) norm mcdonald he's good uh, Dave Chappelle, Dude, Sam Kennison. Sam Kennison, okay. I mean, I, I like to shout on stage, so yeah, you could definitely know. He's oh, got a different to, style. He's definitely got a different, different style, style. Yeah. Um, Andrew Dice Clay. He's got a different style. Too, and yeah. Henry Pounders. Really? Yes. I'm on the I'm on the top five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I mean, no, I I I admire you. Uh, probably number five. Oh shit, you know. Uh, that's a lot of people. I mean, that's yeah, a lot it's, of I, I do like this. I mean, I like Artie Lang a lot. Oh, he's good. Yeah, Artie's great. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried, you know, I, I I like him a lot as well. I mean, well, yeah, but you, you does you, you do his voice on stage? Oh yes, I can do his voice, Henry. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Can, <laughs> well, what 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 appreciations can you do? I can't. Well, I, you know, the only like, what the everybody do, does fucking. Um, on a Schwarzenegger, like, I, 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 that's, that's the only thing I could do. <laughs> I'll I, get to the chopper, Henry. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's, it's a cliche, you know, it's, 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 you know, everybody does it. I mean, if yeah. you can't do on a Schwarzenegger, yeah. I mean, even a retard could do on a Schwarzenegger. All they got to do is, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, oh, we're going to get canceled I, now, bro. <laughs> There goes our, I, there goes I, our I, career. I, 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 that was <laughs> Yeah, or or even a deaf person can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, a fucking deaf God person. Damn it. There, yeah, there, 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 there goes style. there goes our fucking career now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they go your they go your, your YouTube channel. Eh, fuck it, get whatever. demonetized. Oh, it's whatever. <laughs> um, it, the guy don't know. We're we're just kidding. That's the problem with fucking just people these days. They, they they don't understand. You know what what humor and jokes are. No, they're just yeah. like, oh, we just, it's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, joke, it's, you it's you a know? different generation. I think it's, uh, you know, I um, mean, I have hope for like the generation after mine as well, too, because I mean, look at, do you know, do you know Ryan, y- uh, Ryan Fort? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like 20. And he, he's yeah, he's like a little bit younger than my sister. But he's a comic. He's a comic. But, you know, and the it, average and it gets, person, though. 
Yeah, you gotta remember, you know, like comics yeah. think on a different level, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like we're just yeah. talking, we're just talking about ways to, we were just talking about ways to kill ourselves, yeah. you know. And comics, other people, like said, other people will different. think, other people will think we're fucked up. Yeah. But and, but you know, like Ryan would think that's hilarious, you know, or even right. other people will think that's fucking hilarious, you know. But yeah, Ryan. Obviously, you know, he thinks differently than other, you know, Gen Z kids, whatever the fuck. You know, a, a, a kid his age will say, like, there's 95 genders and shit, you know? And it's just like, yeah. I mean, do you think Ryan would, would say that? He, he'd, he'd say there are, and then he would fucking clown on you. Well, yeah, he's got a sense of humor. It's a comic, so Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's a, you know, it's a different kid. But, like, this, the, the average kid would probably think that's that's not okay to, you know, to, to talk. Yeah, I mean, like the whole like Dave that. Chappelle shit, too, man, like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, uh, a lot of people were, like, you know, obviously listening to his, the special, uh, the, the closer, like, the one that, that, they like, got a lot of shit. Right. And, uh, I mean, if people actually took the time to watch it, it's actually, he's paying an homage to his fucking transgender friend that fucking killed herself. You know? And, and, and she was enough, she was do enough. Do you know a transgender? Do you know one? Do I know a transgender? I've met several before. Yeah. Actually, and do they uh, look like a a, a woman or? Uh, there was one dude I met. He was he was a well, oh, he was a woman. Now he became a man. I couldn't tell the fucking difference a- until this guy kind of came off as a little flamboyant, and then he says like he fucks guys, and I'm like, oh, you're gay. That's fine. He's like, he's like, oh no, I fuck women too. Then I'm like, oh, you're bisexual. He's like, oh no no, I'm I'm a tra- I'm a trans man. I'm like. Get the fuck so out of here! He, really? I mean, was he, was he uh, had tits and everything? There, well, he, I mean, he was like pretty, he was like pretty heavy, but he did get a uh, mastectomy, but he still had like man titties as well too, because like you know, once, once he got rid of them. Oh, wait, you say he had a vasectomy? Mastectomy? Oh, Vas- vasectomy. You said a vasectomy. Like, well, yeah. why would he need to get a vasectomy if it's a? Uh... Because I don't fucking. No, no I ma- my second is when ass. you get your, your, your titties removed. When okay. you're a woman, you get your titties removed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get my man pregnant. <laughs> I got to get my dick chopped. Oh, uh, yes. But, um, yeah, he, he had a mastectomy and also had a hysterectomy where he had, like, his entire pussy removed. So it's just, like, one big clit, I guess. So I he had the whole... He had clit. fucking everything removed, man. Like, really? like Yeah, he told me everything. and, and I can't. Did, he, did you see it, though? Fucking, I, I should have asked. I, I really, I really wish I should have asked. Him. I really you, wish I could show him. me. <laughs> hey, he he lives in Orlando, so if you ever see him, I, I forgot his name. This yeah. was like this is like fucking. Oh my god, like eight, nine years ago. So. You should have him here, and then you, you could so that way you could show uh show, a little bit. Show yeah. us his fucking badge peanut or something like that. Yeah, his, his his refurbished pussy <laughs> to the Wouldn't world. Know what Dave Chappelle calls it? Impossible pussy. Yeah, <laughs> impossible pussy. Yeah. Ah <laughs> <sighs> man, that would be weird if. Um, you know, if you were, uh, uh, I don't know, if you were well, fucking a transgender. Well, I mean, like, if you're going to fuck, like, a transgender woman, you got to gotta do anal. You know, there's there, there's no pussy there. But I'm saying if she, if he doesn't tell you that he that he's a transgender, that's tricking you, right? Yeah. If he goes at the end. Well, 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 well. If he comes, like, if he comes, he's going to come like a man. He's going to be like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> then you're fucked. <laughs> you're like, hey, wait, wait, wait a wait, minute, wait, motherfucker. But, but, but how did you see the... How'd you not see his dick before you? But I'm saying if it's fully, if it's fully, you know, saying yeah, transformed. But, but how did you not see his dick beforehand? Because if he's gonna come like a man, you, so you gotta see it beforehand, unless if like you know, if he, if he blindfolds you. Don't say if like he had that. his dick chopped off and he got the pussy. Oh, uh, oh, wait, so he cut. Wait, do, so do you think? And he like, doesn't tell so you. So do that, you think like fucking like like men who became women still come like men even without their pussies yeah, sh- even even shit, without pussies i think that shit's gonna show even when they even when they come I, have, have you ever seen a fucking mutilated wiener when it fucking turns inside out into a vagina no i'm, I'm saying i've never seen that's why i wanted to see one i can show you right now i'm just no. <laughs> <laughs> but that guy you were saying you said he was he was fully transformed right yeah he, well he was a woman like he was a, he was a girl and then he became like yeah, he became a guy Oh, he he he's a guy, a yeah. But he, yeah, so he's got no dick or anything. He's just got a fucking poly enlarged clit because you know when you're on testosterone, it makes your clit look like a fucking like. Oh, that's weird. Too, make it make like, it look like a little dick, you know. Man, this fucking podcast is going. Yeah, away. I'm, it's, this is hey man, it's a little this, weird. This is a little, I, mean, I mean, let's keep going. Um, but but the other way around though, like if it was a a man becoming a, a man woman, become a woman, and he had his shit chopped off. See, I don't see. I heard like. He doesn't see, tell I, you. I that heard would be when tricking. you have sex, when a trans woman, like a like a dude who became a woman, has sex. I heard it's really painful because it's just a flesh wound. It's not a real vagina, and like, yeah. and I heard like, 
you can get like a lot of like infections down there because you know when you're doing it, you're fucking inverting your whole genitalia. Yeah, your so whole, your whole nutsack so, how, how, so your fucking pubes, like you know, if you grow poop, I mean, when you grow pubes, it's gonna grow inside the pussy, and that's gonna cause a lot of problems right there. I mean, it might tickle when when you fuck them, when you fuck somebody, you know, with and the, when you and when you're licking on the what you think is called a pussy. Yeah. You're actually just looking on some... You're looking just fucking just... Some folded nutsacks. Just folded nutsacks? Uh, basically, <laughs> that's, isn't that what it's called? That's pretty much it, man. Like, like, damn, bitch, why do, do you think pussy smell like balls? If there's, any trans, course if there's any trans women that, you know, watch this podcast, I highly doubt that we'll be... You're going to get canceled. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they'll be fans. But I have a question. <laughs> when you get your stuff removed, do you keep your balls in, like, formaldehyde and stuff? Like kind of like Ras- the this, this skin, like, like Rasputin. You you know Rasputin, the fucking the the, the Russian monk who uh, had like a dick the size of like my fucking arm. Really? Have you dude? Have you seen it? No. I could pull that shit up right now, man. It's huge. So this is a, a Russian guy. Yeah, he's a, he's like a fucking uh, guy who. Was he uh, in porn? Is he a- no, he's not a porn star. He's just a fucking. Um, he is a. He was like a priest that. Um, was along with like I think like the, the royal family of Russia during that time like fucking I can't remember what the fuck it was but yeah hold on Rasputin dick Rasputin that is that is real damn Rasputin uh it's like Grigory Rasputin dude look at this fucking thing that's it is that is that in the jar yeah it's like in formaldehyde they kept this penis in a the jar they kept this penis in a jar damn it's huge. It's like a fucking carrot. Ah, damn. That's like a... <laughs> it's weird, man. It is fucking weird. It's weird. I've never seen one in a jar like that, like kept for like a, like a museum or something. Ah, man. How long, How long? I mean, does it does it stay fresh in a jar? I mean... It has to. It, it, it fucking has to stay fresh. I mean, right. I think formaldehyde, it's kind of like the... Uh, the same shit they use for, I think, like embalming or something like that. I, if, you know, you like when you, when you embalm like dead bodies and shit. You know. Ah man. Am I, imagine being a mortician. You know, imagine like working, like you know, in a morgue, surrounded yeah. by dead bodies all day. Mm-hmm. You know, like I'm like. Wait, have you have have you ever had thoughts of being a mortician? No, like fucking. Oh, fucking a dead body. Dead body. Yeah, yeah absolutely. All all, yeah. The, all the time, Henry. Hey all man, dead pussy's the best. I mean, if you want to fuck some, something that's lifeless and, like, useless, fuck a Chinese woman or something. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so, Whoa. So, sorry, Miranda. She's... she's Whoa. She's, yeah. You, 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 she's, she, she's she, a, have, she, she haven't she, walked she, in the door yet. She's, a, she's, she's American. She's only, like, quarter. It's... it's Everything's fine. It, it's, it's all good. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ooh, I'm glad she's not here. With this. Oh, she, oh, she'd fucking, she'd beat my ass if I said fucking that. Throw a ninja star at your ass. That's what uh, she would do. I think that's the Japanese who have the ninja stars. Yeah. Okay. God damn! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it was. It's the Japanese. It's, it's wait, both. Is it both? Wait, dude, yeah, no, it's fucking Chinese. They're, they're the kung fu people. The, wait. Everybody hold, throws ninja stars. Hold on. I throw ninja stars, but I'm not even Chinese. You're, you're, I'm, you're, I'm, I'm you're Filipino. Filipino yeah. yeah, but I still throw ninja stars. Yeah. Yeah, you do throw ninja I think stars. all Asian kids throw ninja stars. That's fact. Well, one time I got jumped by a bunch of Asian kids, and I got fucking ninja, ninja stars thrown at me. Start throwing shit. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then, luckily, I started driving off, and then they got in the cars, and they immediately crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, I'm just glad she ain't here. This, this is definitely the fucking dirtiest pot. Well, is actually, it? oh no, I, I've done way dirtier with my with my buddy. I would call him my co-host, but he's not really my co-host. He's just a so. Key- why don't Why don't you have a co-host then? You want to be my co-host? I'm just saying, yeah. Like some people have a co-host. I mean, Miranda could be my co-host, but yeah. Like, why don't you get her to be a? Well, she. I mean, she likes it. She she likes to do it. She 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 came on uh, when Natasha was here last she week, and, and it was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Especially you know when it's like people she vibes with and she's comfortable with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she could fucking talk up a storm. Yeah, when when Natasha was here. Yeah, we were only like 18 minutes in, and then she came in, and we fucking did the rest of the hour with Miranda, and it was fucking all bouncing off one another. I just need to get more microphones. So your wife is, what, Chinese, right? Yeah, like she's like Chinese and Norwegian. Very very, very odd mix. Yeah. yeah. How did that happen? Well, uh, when a fucking, when a Chinese rice farmer and a Viking okay. get together, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, her, 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 father's, uh, her father's Chinese, and her mom is like, Comes from like uh, Norwegian ancestry and shit. Okay. Yeah. 
That's a weird combination, but it what does What about you? Happen. What are you? You uh, you Filipino and I'm uh, full Filipino, as far Fil- as I know full of. Full Filipino. There you go. Yeah. Filipino. The, they're like also like mi- mixture with like Hispanic, right? Yeah, we're we're basically, uh, we're uh, probably closest to like uh, I don't know, like a Mexican. Hmm. But I don't know, man. I don't. It's like because uh, from from what I know is that the s- Spanish people came and conquered the Philippines. Yeah. For a certain amount of years, <clears throat> and we took took on a lot of their like, culture. What were like the the Filipinos before the sp- before the, the 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 Spanish people came and took over? Were they kind of like like Islanders and stuff, like like Aborigines and shit, or were they just like like I don't know, just people living in harmony and not well, n- not you, worrying about a damn thing, just fucking. Well, you got me. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I, know. Just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know that uh, that far, but I just know that that's what happened. One of my uh, one of, I, I girl I used to work with. She's from the Philippines, and she told me uh, if I if I go to the Philippines, I'd be a celebrity out there because I'm you know I'm a big I'm a big guy. And then I'm like, what yeah. the fuck am I doing here? Like I should be on the Philippines. If you go it. to any third world country, you're gonna be a celebrity. That's very true. Yeah, I I heard in in South Korea, like our currency is so expensive out there. Like if you have a thousand bucks, you're a millionaire. And I'm like, fuck. I'm like, Miranda, we should fucking just move to South Korea, become K-pop stars and shit. You know, yeah, you, you, you know what? Th- you know, you would probably make it out there too. You would probably get the whole country behind you. I'll tell you what, man. Other than America, you know what's my second biggest audience that I saw, and I always I get a lot of comments on uh, as well too from 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 this uh, sp- specific part of the world. Was that India? I have a huge Indian audience. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> how'd, you get, how'd you get a following? Now you just lost my fucking Indian audience, Henry. God damn. How'd you, how'd you get that, though? I don't know. It just fucking happened. Like, I, like literally, I don't know where. I want to check my analytics. It said, like, fucking 38% of my viewers are in America. 20-something percent are in India. And I'm like, how the fuck did that happen? And then, like, 10% is in the Philippines. And so you're big in India, dude. You should go to India. I fucking should go to India, man. We would love Scott to come over there. And, and <laughs> you would love to buy him a slurpee. Would you, would you like to see my wife's bobbers and vagin? <laughs> <laughs> man, this is uh, gonna this is gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, come um, on, give it to me. Give it to me, Scotty. Oh yeah, the punjani. Uh, give it to me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder if they got hairy pussies over there though. Do they shave in India? I mean, I, I assume so. They probably got some fucking wild. I mean, I I heard like the like Middle Tastes Eastern. like curry down there, probably. I, I love curry. I mean, oh yeah. Well, there you go. You fit right in there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like curry because it's it's weird. It's like it fucking it's it's spicy and then it goes to sweet. Yeah. There you go, Henry. I'm I'm giving you an option. Go 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 meet an Indian gal tonight. If if there's one, if there's gonna be one at our <sighs> at our at our sesh tonight. I've never been with an Indian girl, but I I would I would like to be with one just to, just for the experience. You should. I mean, I know Orlando's got a big population of Indian people. Probably. Yeah. I mean, like I had um my brother when he used to live in Orlando. He had a he lived in a neighborhood with a bunch of fucking like Pakistanis and like. Indians and stuff. When you say Indian, you mean like the the in, the dot Indians, oh. right? Da, 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 da. Yeah, da, da, of course. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I would try that. I mean, no, na- the Native Americans, they're all in the fucking casinos and shit, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the the native, the I mean, the other Indians with the dot, yeah, yeah. I would try that. I have I haven't had one of those. You should try it, man. Have you had one? Mm-mm. No. And I'm and I'm taken, so I can't. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, I've happily taken. I'm gonna I'm gonna find one. I don't know what I gotta do. Maybe I walk around Orlando with a cow. Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, maybe attract one that way. Fucking, you know? I don't know. Carry a little Ganesh with a little elephant guy and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then just just be like his that trunk you see on his face. That's on my cock yeah. as well. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Like, I have you have your like, yeah, Indian. Have you ever gone with like a Middle Eastern chick mm-hmm. at all? Um, there was one I was interested. In, but uh, she didn't. She 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 didn't use the. She don't. They don't use deodorant. Ew. So they don't. Uh, yeah, they don't. She was funky as bitch. Then you yeah. were like, a you, funky motherfucker. You're like, baby, what if what if I become a mausoleum in order for me to get with you a mausoleum? <laughs> a ma- but you know, over in the Middle East, they don't they don't use deodorant and shit like that. 
So really? they stay, yeah, they stay natural, man. They, they, uh, you, 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 you got to wear deodorant, dude. I mean, the like, girl that I was talking to, she was, she stank half the she, time. She stank. Yeah. Ugh. So I can imagine. And she, when I asked, her, I said, you, you guys, like, she don't even douche. It's a douche or douche. Uh, du- douche. Wait, do, do women even still douche? Cause I, I thought douchebag just turned into a, a, a guy who was a yeah. douchebag. You know, I didn't think, I didn't think, um, she don't, she don't even use that. Things. She said. Ugh. Because she said it's just all natural, and I'm like, that's disgusting. Ugh. You know, so I mean, she was cute, but it just, you know, what she, the way she smelled, turned me off. So I mean, I, they be, probably believe in pheromones, you know, because I yeah. mean, older uh, pheromones do come from like older and stuff. So I mean, probably, but I mean, if she's a natural list, <sighs> like, yeah, have you have you ever, have you ever been with a vegan chick before? Uh, no. Yeah, they stink too. Really? Oh yeah. They, 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 I would think they would be the cleanest. The vegan chicks are not the the hardcore vegan ones don't they they fucking don't bathe, don't wear deodorant, don't really? sh- don't shave, don't yeah, they anything that has anything to do with like animal products and shit, they don't do it. Really? Really. Or or just or not not just animal products, but like I guess they want to be as close to the earth as much as they can, so they have to smell like shit. Because I mean, you know, fertilizer is part of the fucking. So have you been with a vegan before? Uh no, and no. I and I I um I didn't want to even when I was single as well. Like I remember like I a lot. her pussy tastes like lettuce. I lettuce love lettuce and croutons. though. No, don't say no. I, no, no. It, it, it probably <laughs> tastes like fucking sauerkraut or something like sauerkraut. that. <laughs> Shit that doesn't have no flavor. Thank you. Kale. Yeah. Oh, your pussy tastes like kale. Yeah, well, if you go yeah. to. Get, if you go to Gainesville, you'll meet you'll meet a lot of them like that. There's a lot of vegans in Gainesville. Oh yeah, I mean it's fucking it's a college town. I mean like any college town you go to. I mean hell even in Tampa, and St. Petersburg and stuff. There, there's always gonna be a lot of fucking st- uh, stinky vegans and stuff. I would try it though. I've never I've never been on a vegan, but I'd try it. Go ahead. I mean fucking I'm Dunedin's probably got a lot of them out there as yeah. well too. You know fucking anywhere anywhere that's kind of like a hippie town. I think Orlando, you'll probably have the best luck. Cause I've been with a lot of I've been with a lot of different type of women. Mm-hmm. But Indian is one of them that I have not been with. People, uh, you know, girls from the Middle East. Trans women. Definitely not going there. <laughs> but if she don't tell me, then hey, you know, I don't know. <laughs> like, what? Like, like what? Okay, what if, she, what if, like, she's actually, like, really, like, smoking hot and, like, but has a dick? I say, look, bitch, you have to chop that dick off, first of all. Okay? You got to make it look <laughs> believable. You want to look like a woman, go all the way with it. <laughs> and that way you can be presentable at least. <laughs> you know, I don't want no dick print showing out of your dress. Oh, man. Now, I don't know. Like, Cancel! If, <laughs> but, <laughs> but if she, I don't know, man. If she, because uh, I've talked about this, you know, with other people. Yeah. But damn, I mean, if, if I got tricked, that's one thing, right? Trick dick. Literally. It, yeah. It, it is if, trick if, dick if right she, there. If she goes, hey, listen. In her voice, do you want to fuck with this? Then, oh, it kind of you know, like 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 the Wayans brothers from White Chicks. Or yeah, like, you want to fuck with this? I'm like, oh, hey, yeah. Okay. If, oh. if she go, do you want to fuck with this? You know what? You know what you're fucking with. Then I'm like, oh, okay. Well, never mind. I'm sorry. I would have to be tricked yeah. into thinking that she was or that she was a she. You know. I have a joke. That's that the I, only uh, way. I have a joke that I wrote that I might use tonight, but I, I I'm not. I will. Uh, I, I'll, I'll I'll tell you after the podcast. It's yeah. it's, a, it's a good one actually. It's a it's a, it's about a TLC show that I was watching the other day, and I I was like, this is so fucking. It was a good show. It was, it was cute, but I was just like, oh, that's a good joke. It, they just, they just set themselves up for this joke. You know, I'm sorry. You know, I mean, like, fuck me, right? I, I can't help but not make a joke. Yeah, it's all jokes, man. We that's, just, that's what it is. It's all jokes. Comedians, we, jo- we joke around. People at my job think I'm I'm crazy because I, I talk a lot of shit. Oh, dude, my, me, mine too, man. Like, a lot of the people, like, don't understand at my job that, like, you know, I you mean. T- they, do you they, tell them that you're a comedian? They know I'm a comedian. I but, never tell them. But they, um, yeah, because, no, well, they're like, oh, what are you, a comedian? I said, actually, I am. Yeah, they're like, oh. They're like, oh, like, well, like, what do you, why are you working here? I'm like, cause I need to make money too, motherfucker, you know? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, no, but I'll like say like a weird fucking joke 
a lot of them like won't, won't understand and they'll think I'm like serious like I'll, I'll, like, I'll like say like you know like, like say like I don't know like fucking a joke about pedophilia and they'll be like Scott's a fucking pedophile I'm like no I'm not a pedophile Just, you don't understand the fucking concept of what a joke is and like and taking things to the next next limit you know god damn that's what I say I never tell them I'm a comedian I just I just say it's whatever I want to say it's a good idea. I think, I, think I, should stop, like, I should stop doing that from now on. And they just look at me like, ah, damn, that motherfucker crazy. Here he comes again with that bullshit. Yeah. And I just start talking. Hey, man, you know, guess what, man? I had some good-ass 13-year-old pussy today. How about it? <laughs> and they go, oh, my God. See, like, this yeah. is why people don't understand us, you know, because <laughs> they'll, they'll, they're going to listen to this podcast, and they're going to they're gonna be like, this motherfucker. And yeah, then, like, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. just like, come on, it's all... For fun, yeah, man, they, I mean, they think I'm the crazy. Like, oh my god, this guy Ashley Parker. I'm like, brother, come on, man. Does it look like I hang around like middle a, school and shit? Really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could look, I could blend in, but that was fun to say. Like, if you shave your beard, yeah. like you can look like you can go to like a skate park and be like, hey, what's up, my my homies? What's up, man? Yeah, I actually want to go back to high school. Just to fuck those uh, female teachers everybody been talking about. You can probably pull it off. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yo, I, I, I can pull you, it off. You can, if you if you like if you shave your fucking yeah the rest of what you got in here and your, your beard and stuff, yeah, you I can could, fucking yeah, pull it off. Go there. I mean, cause I have a body of a troubled teenager, so why not? You know. And I got I got a good baby face too. Other than my gray hair, I could fucking totally just dye that, shave it off. I could look like a big fucking like you know like a like a twelfth grade football player named <laughs> named like Brooks. Or like yeah. fucking I don't know like what's a typical like bit like Billy Bob like the guy from fucking Varsity Blues or some shit like that you know uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's fucking great oh man yeah, that'd be perfect six thirty three you got like another fucking hour or so we should fucking well I mean we, we can fucking well I mean seven thirty we I don't what, what time what time snapper start like eight o'clock yeah uh, what time is eight eight o'clock yeah I, think I, it's I can't really remember man. Yeah, I can't remember a lot of things. We, well, we're making pretty good time though. We're fucking killing it. We're fucking uh, yeah, killing man. it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we're you're worried. We're like, oh, what are we gotta talk about? I'm like, this is, we just gotta fucking just roll just, with yeah, it, man. That, that, that's bullshit, that's, that's, what, yeah. that's what you do. That that's what to me a podcast is. I don't like like I actually I knew a guy that I remember I was gonna have him on like my podcast a long time ago, and he was kind of like a business owner. And he didn't want to talk about like like funny stuff. He was just like, can you just ask me the questions about my job? And I'm like, no. Can I just fucking can we just bullshit and I can ask you in the middle like while I while I tell you like a funny dick joke and then be like so tell me about your business man you know what what, what you got going on and then he'd be like oh I don't know if I want to do that because that, that's just gonna make me look uh, look uh, unprofessional I'm like go, go fuck yourself and your unprofessionality man like we're professional right now being on yeah. here and talking like fucking threatening our careers like who who would you who would you interview like like if you had to go back in time who would you just like interview on your podcast. Like anybody from history? Anybody. Probably like Jesus or something. Okay. What? Well, I mean, what kind of question would you ask him? I don't know. <laughs> are, 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 are you black? Or are you white? Because you know? <laughs> people think he's oh he like he's a fucking hippie looking white guy. And I'm Mexican, think, motherfucker. <laughs> my, my, I'm a Jesus. My, my, my name is <laughs> Yeah. Jesus. Oh, okay. Well, all jokes aside, if I had to like really sit down and like talk was like a historical figure. Just like shoot the shit, get drunk with him, and interview this person. That's a good one right there. Yeah. Probably, honestly, man. That's a hard one, right? It's a really hard one right there. <laughs> Gotta think about this for a second. Probably, probably like fucking Caesar. To be honest with you, I, I, because I'll be like, yo, what's your fucking deal? You know, like, why, why? Why did you fucking like lose your reign over a woman? Is that what happened to Caesar? Cleopa I'm not really Cleopatra. You know, Cleopatra fucking, uh, you know, uh. kind of got in, got in the way between you know uh, him and Mark Antony. Mark Antony was like one of his lieutenants and shit. So, I'm sorry, I'm a history major. I got graduated with history a long time ago well, in, in college yeah, and stuff. Sense. Yeah, I'm a big history buff. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of people I, I like to interview. What, what about you? Who would you interview? Um. I don't know, maybe Hitler. I was just thinking that actually too. I was like, the second guy I'd probably interview would be Hitler. Well, yeah, I'd be like, yo, what's up with that mustache, bro? <laughs> actually, that... no, no, no. I can tell you why he has them. He had the mustache. Why? He was a big fan of Charlie Chaplin. Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, Charlie Chaplin really? had the same mustache, and that was like popular back in like the 1920s. So I thought Chaplin got it from him. Mm -mm. He, no? got, he, he got it. It from was Charlie the other Chaplin. way around. Yeah. Oh, maybe he was funny. Maybe Hitler was funny. <laughs> you just never know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he got the look. <laughs> 
It's got to be behind uh, behind the scene. Uh, maybe Hitler Be- was funny, he says. Behind the scene, <laughs> Hitler was funny. No, he wasn't funny. In like, an he, evil he, way. He hated the Jews. Like, the Jews are, like, hilarious. Like, I mean, he would hate Seinfeld and fucking Mel Brooks and all, like, the greatest Jewish comics that ever lived. What I'm saying is maybe, maybe something. Isn't, isn't Chaplin, is he, what was he? British, I think. British? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Cha- Chaplin, I mean, does, does it sound kind of... So does it sound kind of, of Jewy a little bit? That's what I'm saying. L- Pull them up. A little kosher? I don't think he was. You don't Cha- think so? Chaplin? I don't you don't think, think he was, was a Jew? I don't think he was. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure he wasn't Jewish. But I'm sure. I'm, but, but he was funny, though, right? Chaplin, Chaplin was well, Chaplin, funny. Well, Chaplin was one of like, the original fucking like, yeah. you know, heroes of comedy. Like when, yeah. when moving pictures, so I'm saying movies Hilla, became Hilla like a big has... thing. You know, and that was funny. I was actually listening to like, a, like one of Joe Rogan's podcasts earlier today. Like people like Charlie Chaplin and the Marx Brothers and the Three Stooges, they had no one to fucking model after. They did it on their own. Like yeah. if, if you look at like fucking like Lenny Bruce and like even you know, like George Carlin and all the greats from like back then, they still yeah. mo- they still modeled fucking like Humphrey Bogart and a bunch of other like comedians oh, of true. their time. And that's then true. look at us, we're fucking modeling after ev- everyone we fucking you know, yeah, everyone out there. So who who do you who do you think you you model after? Or like who's your like my. Who like who you think I um, kind of like like I I like I use like my style as yeah Jesus I have no fucking idea man like I I uh, <clears throat> I feel like there's a lot of like experiments that I do when it comes to like modeling I would say I mean I I mean I get like like my energy I would say probably from like Gilbert Gottfried okay and you know but I think my uh, awkwardness definitely from like Norm. Norm is great yeah I no, love Norm, Norm was fucking amazing dude did you see his last special before he died. No, I have not. People have been saying that I need to go watch it's, it. It's literally just him sitting from his webcam like this telling jokes. Really? Yes. So no audience? No audience, just him. Just is, it, is it funny, though? It's hilarious. Yeah. It's, it's literally just fucking him. Like He's like, yeah, and they say comedians are you know, the modern-day philosophers, which makes me feel really bad for modern-day philosophers, you know? <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. It's, it's norm, man. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think my favorite joke on there he talked about – He's like, I, I really don't, I don't know why people feel bad for, for people with, with Down syndrome and stuff, because, you know, every time I, I see one, they, they're they so happy, that they're, they're happier than all of us, like, like I'll be with, with a person who's got Down syndrome, and I'll look at myself in the mirror, and I'm like, oh, I'm so hideous, oh. and then the person with Down syndrome would say, I like bananas, really, uh, I like bananas too. <laughs> speaking of bananas. Hey. Speaking hey. of bananas, what the fuck? What is she? What is she? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's Miranda. Yeah. yeah. I would say you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, baby? Yeah. How's it going? Good. good. Yeah, we're about forty-five yeah, you minutes. You gotta in this get thing. in. You gotta get through here. Oh no, no, not at all. Uh, she's okay, just, okay. Uh, she's just vibing, man. Yeah, she's just vibing. Cool. Yeah, you want to pull up a chair or something? Or uh, yeah, yeah, yeah fucking come on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Well, she gets settled in, so absolutely. Just, just don't stink it up there, man. Oh man, I feel it coming. Having a good time? Oh yeah. We probably might get canceled, oh, but no. <laughs> but it's okay but, though. Oh, my, it doesn't matter. It's okay though. It's 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 all for the for for the comedy. All for the nookie. All for the nookie. That's right. Let me go <laughs> ahead and try to move this camera. Okay. Yeah. Oop. Gotta make some adjustments. Oh no. Uh, I gotta make some again. adjustments. It's okay. Hello, it everybody. Oh, fuck. Yes. Hello. Oh, no. Hello. We got to rig it up. There we go. I just realized I totally Take your time. Take your time. I just time. realized I totally forgot to record the separate audio, but I could, I could just turn the video into a wave. There we go. Uh, into a wave thing, and boom, we're good to go. A wave pool? A wave pool. No, a fucking... Uh, <laughs> Um, a wave, um, kind of like MP3 or MP4, a, a wave. Oh, or WAV yeah. file. I always. Call oh, it's it WAV. a WAV file. Oh, I, I, is it wave or WAV? Maybe it's wa- I, I, wave or WAV. I don't know. I always called it a WAV file. Right, wave look, file. I'm gonna turn you up because I know we probably wave can't wav. hear you. They're now you good, confuse so me. So there we go. There we go. So what's the haps? Uh, I don't know. Just chilling. Hey, can you actually talk really quick? Hold on. Let me, uh, sure, sure. I'll talk. Are you testing? Test. Testing. All right, go ahead. Making sure it sounds real good, nice, right. cr- nice and crisp. All right, yeah, you're good. Okay, crispy. Awesome. Crispy, crusty, peanut buttery butterfingers. Henry's back. Crunchy peanut butter. <laughs> do people do people ever call you Hank? People ever call me Hank? Yeah. Um, no. Hank Pounders. Nah. 
<laughs> that would be called Hank. Can you, can you, are you in the picture? Yeah, I'm, yeah, she's I'm in the all picture. Good. Yeah, yeah. I think we're good to go. There we go. Cozy. Ah, well, shit. Oh, I just realized <laughs> you're wearing a fucking oh, Muhammad sure? Ali right rad. there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, well, is One that, of my hero. Hell yeah. That, that, that was the fight we took down. Who was it? Was it uh, fucking Joe Frazier? We took down everybody. Oh, I know I we know took it. down everybody. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, what do you think? I'm if, a big boxing fan, so. Are you, are yeah. you now? Okay. Yeah, if you got Ali in his prime and Tyson in his prime, who would win? Man, I would say, that's, that's always like a debate. That's a tough one, but I would say Tyson. I agree. Tyson was a fucking maniac. Tyson, I mean, he's, yeah. he, dude, he still is he's a fucking, a he's, a, he's yeah. scary. He's, he's like 16, still fucking yeah. in that bag, man. It's different styles, too. And it's funny, Tyson's actually a fucking gentle human being. Like, have you, like, seen, have you, do you listen to his podcast at all? Yeah, yeah, ab- ab- absolutely, a- absolutely, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Like Tyson the greatest. I, I, I love me the, I love me Henry Pounder. If I, I, what the, why do I sound like that? <laughs> We're getting our voiceover work done here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, but, I love his podcast. Though. No, but I, because uh, he talked about back before he, when he, when he would fight, he before he would go on, he cries eyes out because he's afraid he was either gonna hurt the guy really bad or he's gonna fucking get hurt, hurt, hurt himself. And I'm like. What a fucking gentle soul, you know. I mean, I feel like a lot of boxers should feel like that too. I mean, shit, I would. I mean, yeah. If I'm about to go in there, I'm about to get my ass whooped. Fuck, I don't want that. You ever? Wait, you ever? You ever got into a fight? Have I got into a fight? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. But like in the boxing, you ever? Box oh, like, oh, oh, like for shits and giggles, yeah. But <clears throat> I'm talking about like if it's like a real like you know competition. No, yeah. I, I mean I've trained like with my buddy's dad several times before because he he's a he he was a uh, boxer in in Vietnam. Oh yeah, yeah, fucking one of the best actually. I I can't remember who he fought, but he actually well I can't I well his what his name was, but he fought the guy who became one of the Olympic gold medalists in the uh, I can't remember which year the Olympics was, but he 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 beat him and that guy won the fucking boxing gold medal in whatever year the Olympics was during back in the seventies. I like I like boxing because I I think it's pretty much it's very close to stand up. Why do you say that? Hmm. Because uh, sometimes when you when you get knocked down, you you, you got to get up. You got to keep fighting, right? And you know you in there, you got to maneuver the hecklers, and you you dodging and weaving, and you uh and then you hit them with a combo, you hit them with a punch. It's a very good point. That's right a there. great analogy. That's actually a great analogy yeah. right there, bro. That's why I love boxing. I think boxing is similar to stand up. I even, like that. Yeah, even when you get knocked down, gotta get up you, again, you, bro. You got to get back right. up. When I get knocked down, I get, get up, up again because you're never going to bring me down. <laughs> what and, do you th- their, and their mentality is pretty, pretty similar. Mm-hmm. Do, do you train? Did you train before uh, in boxing or did you just do it for like just fun? And whatnot? I, I did it just for fun. I never trained though. There you go. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the Anderson Silver and Jake Paul fight? Entertainment, really. Yeah, yeah it's entertainment. But entertainment. I, I know Silver's going to whoop, whoop the shit out of Jake yeah, Paul should, for sure. Yeah. But Jake I mean, Paul is just a YouTuber. I mean, yep. just, I mean dude, here's the thing. like He's a YouTuber. He's a shit talker, but... He ain't dumb. I mean, like he's doing like all this shit, and you know, get, getting him, getting his face out there and whatnot. You know, I mean, he, he might. He, I mean, he's shit, doing he, it. He, he might beat him. I don't know. I mean, I doubt it though. I mean, did you see the the Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather one? Yeah, F- Floyd was just literally just playing with him the entire time. Yeah, he, he knocked him out like three times and had to pick him up just to wake him up again and fucking mm-hmm. keep going for another like ten more minutes of shit. Yeah, but also, Floyd was past his. Well, he's like in his forties, past his prime. He's got to be, like, be pushing fifty by now. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. so he's um. I mean, Floyd's still fucking. Like I always wanted Floyd to lose whenever, like you know, before he retired. But yeah, I wanted to lose at least once. Yeah, <coughs> I, I was hoping he was gonna lose to Pacquiao, and I thought he did. Pa- Pacquiao, I thought Pacquiao fucking got him. I think um. Uh, that was pretty close, but I think Mayweather got him got him towards the end. I haven't. Got him towards I, I, I saw the fight. When, what, the fight was it called? Like that was like ten years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah I, it's been a while since I've seen that. But yeah, I. Uh, but I enjoyed it though. Oh fuck yeah! Um, I don't know. Did Pacquiao doesn't fight anymore? Does he? Nah, he's retired. I was man. gonna say he's he's up. He's old. He's old as yeah, shit. He's, he's done. He's yeah. toast. Isn't isn't UFC uh, like two eighty coming up? Like isn't that coming up very soon as well too? Are you you UFC guy as well or no? I I try to watch it every now and then, but I'm more of a a, a boxing. <laughs> Big, big yeah, boxing fan, fucking yeah. Fucking boxing aficionado. Were you trying to go to that boxing gym up in Ocala? Oh, well, I got a story about that. So, um, this guy, Tito Ortiz, do you remember Do you remember his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He runs a boxing gym up, up in my hometown. Really? And I uh, I went there. You know, I was just like, fuck it. You know, I can go to, like, you know, 
try try to lose some weight. This is before we moved down, but before, way before we we moved down here. So I'm there, and just you know, he's just like, "Hey man, yeah, fucking, you know, come on in, you know, I'll show you everything. Ten bucks for ten bucks for the day, and if you and if you like it, you know, come back and we can, you know, it's like thirty bucks a month for, um, yeah, just yeah, whatever the fuck. So I'm there, you know, I'm just yeah, just doing some exercises, doing some like you know, uh, uh, like just simple like little shit, and then he wanted me to get on the back. And he saw, like, you know, my form. He saw, like, you know, how hard I was hitting the thing. And I'm fucking... And he still was training my ass. Like, you know, I'm, yeah. like, getting ready for a fucking fight. And then I'm, like, oh, my God, you know. And I, while they... Well, meanwhile, there's, like, these 15, 16-year-old kids fucking kicking my ass over there. And then... Mm. And then I'm there... I was there for, like, an hour, you know, like, a good hour just working out. And then I'm, like, fuck, dude. This is crazy. And then, uh, and then Tito was, like, bro, you got potential, bro. I need a fucking heavyweight, man. You got you hit that fucking you hit that thing so fucking hard. I want you to keep coming back, all right, man. I'm gonna train you. I'm gonna make you a fucking monster. And I'm like, dude, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, listen. I mean, yeah. I, I appreciate the compliment, but you know, I'm I'm kind of a little almost out of my prime when it comes to training for boxing. If I was like in my early twenties or even late teens, yeah, sure, well, I, mean, I, I could do that. But you know, yeah, I'm just gassing you up. Yeah, I want to see oh, yeah. him going in and get his ass. Yeah, exactly. Beat, you know? and yeah, then... <laughs> it'll be fun, you know. Come on, guys. Yeah, and, but but then <laughs> then then. then, 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 then no, ball. but yeah, pretty much he just want to watch this big white guy get his yeah. ass whipped and stuff. Yeah, no, but then, no, but then, but then he says, but then he started talking about Donald Trump. He said he's like, bro, I don't know about you, but I hope Donald Trump wins, wins in fucking twenty, man. You know, I hope he wins this fucking year. Like we, we fucking, and I'm like, oh yeah, Donald Trump. There you go. I mean, I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that, but I mean, you know, Donald Trump gonna is he trying to get back in office? Fuck yeah, he's trying to get back in. He's yeah, he's definitely gonna run again in twenty four. Absolutely. We're going to make the wall better, I promise. <laughs> Hang on one second. I'm, I'm trying to do the oh, trail. Getting on. ready. <laughs> Look at Biden. Look at Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very embarrassing administration. Fake news, too. Fake, fake news. news. CNN. They're all, it, it's all <laughs> fake. We will make America great. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I, pretty good. I, 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 I've been working on it because you know Shane Gillis, the comedian. Oh, is he is he local or? No, he's like famous. Like, What's he, his name? Shane. Shane Gillis. I yeah, he's I, dude. He's been on fucking Joe Rogan like multiple times and uh, stuff. Yeah, he's uh, he's huge. Yeah, he he can do like a fucking spot on Donald Trump. Oh wow. Yeah, it's it's yeah. He he did the one where he's like, look at my look at my colored friend over there, and he did it perfectly in Trump's yeah. voice. And <laughs> dude, fucking Rogan and all those guys lost it when he fucking said that. And I'm like, god damn, that's fucking funny. Jamie Foxx does a, a good impression he, he, of. He does good doing good impression. Can you do impression of Trump? Nah, that was my failed. <laughs> can, you, can can you do Biden <laughs> pretty good? I can't do Biden. Um, uh, America can be found in. Different names. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's all you need to do. I, I, I like That's I, it. I like when when Mike Evans does the uh, his impression oh. of Biden, where he's just, he's like, it's like you ever seen when Joe Biden's on stage? He's always like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets so animated. Yeah, I, I love that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Fucking, but I, I like I I don't like Biden at all either. But he cracks me. And uh, not cracks me. I feel bad for him. You know, I'm just like, man, like ima imagine, yeah. imagine my grandfather up there. I mean, even though my grandfather before he died was pretty spry, both of them actually. But, I mean, it's just, yeah, you feel bad. It's just like, oh, man, this guy clearly has, like, dementia. But what did you or say some... the other day? Something about the ice cream and how it's kind of, like, endearing when you see him, like, eat ice cream? Oh, it's, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of adorable when he eats his ice cream. Like, because he'll, he'll have it. People asking him, like, he's like, it's like, Mr. Biden, President Biden, like, what are you going to do about inflation? Ice cream. <laughs> and he'll just fucking eat his ice cream and look like a kid, you know. And I'm like, okay, it's it's kind of adorable, but still, uh, work on your uh, your presidential skills. You're doing a bad job. Yeah, I don't buddy. think he's gonna do another. No, no, yeah, 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 no, I think no. This is it. Honestly, man, I think what's gonna happen this year, I think it's gonna be fucking Kamala running. Man, so? Kamala, not to this year, 24. Kamala and Trump. I think Trump. I, th I think Trump have a. Uh, he's got a pretty good. <laughs> chance of getting back in i think i think it is too i mean i mean obviously people are gonna like you know say like oh january 6th january 6th you know everyone's like so for like worried about you know obviously january 6th but i'm like ah, 
Hey, what about Kanye West? Would you like to see Kanye West? Oh, oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh God, dude, Kanye, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. Well, what's he saying about like George Floyd? You know, not n- n- over o- ODing on fentanyl and Did he said that. He said that. Really? Uh, yeah, he said oh, yeah, he ODing on fentanyl and and not get not not from asphyxiation. I'm like, dude, clearly George Floyd died from being crushed by a fucking knee. Yeah, I, I mean, haven't been I haven't been keeping up with Kanye. I, I just know he's uh he's been seeing some He's been saying some wild shit, man. Wild shit. He um I mean look, like like George Floyd, yeah, he had his problems. Like, you know, they did find, you know, fentanyl and like other drugs in his system. But I mean look, did he deserve to die? No. Absolutely not. No one deserves to fucking die, you know? It's like I don't know. I mean, well, even with, like, the whole George Floyd thing, too, like, how he was kind of, like, praised after death. And I'm like, here's the thing, you know, yeah, it sucks that he died, but he wasn't a good person. There was another guy before him that that died the same way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in New York City. He was selling Lucy's on the streets. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. And I forgot his name. Yeah. And that's when Black Lives Matter started. It was. That was back, like, 2012, 2013. that's when it started. yeah. Whoa, shit! Now we got super political on this yeah. one. Yeah, we yeah. we we we, we <laughs> went just we, everywhere, man. Well, we're everywhere. Yeah, that's that's what I said. That's just what a, that's what a years. podcast is. It's it's just mindless bullshit. That's it. This bunch of homies just talking shit. And Miranda, Miranda's a and homie me. now too. <laughs> you just so. got you just got off from work, right? I did. Yeah, she did. How was how work. was your day at the job? Good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah solid yeah. day. It was good. No problems. Cool. Smooth. Well, fuck. I think we could probably wrap it up here. It's been about it's been about an hour. Okay, yeah, we, we can definitely fucking yeah, just fucking Henry. Why don't you go ahead and plug your social medias in, man? Uh, just follow me on uh, IG, uh, Facebook, Henry Pounders, and uh, and YouTube, YouTube, uh, OnlyFans, OnlyFans, and um, you, have only, you have OnlyFans. Pornhub. Huh? <laughs> I can see you making OnlyFans. <laughs> and then his new podcast, Pound Town. Pound Town, yeah. I'm oh, coming I up. Yeah. And lights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'm so glad I came up with that. Pound Town. <laughs> Pound Town. Uh, you know. The Pound it's, Town. It's, it's in the work. It's in the, it's in the making. Yeah, Pound Town with Henry Pounders, man. Or fucking, I don't know. Or Pound Time. Or it's Pounding Time. Pound or Cake. Yes. <laughs> Pound Cake. The, the Pound Cat. That's a good one. Pound Cake. Pound Cake. Okay. That's, that's, that's we're we're just fucking spitting out ideas yeah. right here, man. Left and right. But cool. Henry, this has been fucking fun, man. Hey, man. And we're, we're going to go fucking tell some jokes at Snappers yeah. tonight. Uh, yeah. Snappers in, in Palm Harbor, Florida. Fucking check it out. They got shows every weekend there, and it's going to be fucking awesome. And yeah, f- fucking subscribe, like for more, and shut the